back in the garage. My, through the magic of editing, my last video will be rebuilding a front brake caliper. Although the rebuild part might actually look like a rear brake caliper, but it's the same. Hooray tech, it blew up and quit. But following on that same vein, we're going to work on the brake master cylinder. It's not been giving me problems, but it's old. And so, since it's currently snowing out, I am going to redo all the seals and stuff. I'm gonna make sure all the juice is out of it here. Good enough. I'm gonna do a couple of things before we take it off the handlebar. First thing is get this little beauty cover off. This is something thin. Here, like this. Ah. ah, that's more like it. It's a cap on the very end, not that whole ferrule looking thing. So I'm using my utility knife blade since it's something I got a whole stack of. It doesn't matter what happens to it. And then if you <clears throat> look at it from this side, it's a big hex choppy. That is an eight, eight millimeter hex. So I'm gonna, and before I take it off loose here, I'm gonna at least loosen this up. Cause that means it won't move. Yeah, the schmoo's gonna drip out there. I'm gonna try and, yeah, since this is a separate piece here, I'm gonna not take the mirror off. Cause this whole half will come off. I have my thin tool here. I'm trying to be gentle because I'd like to not do that. You do want to be gentle and maybe not do this when it's super cold out because these are these little decorative caps are just plastic with some kind of chromey looking coating might actually be chrome could be aluminized that'd be pretty spiffy but i kind of doubt it and then those are like a number six smaller like a number five number five steel into aluminum. Of course it is. drop everything. It's important to drop things. Keeps you on your toes. Find this setup better for hand spinning stuff off anywho. Fewer oh. things to hang on to so I don't lose it.
impact screwdrivers work wonders on these, but a regular one works. They also make manual impacts, but I have one of those, so we'll use it. Do not lose those. Cover. Pretty good shape. A little seal and diaphragm. I apparently flushed this fluid out earlier this year because that's not too nasty considering it's 17 years old before since this last got messed with. Before I go any further, locate my parts kit, caliper, front master cylinder, seal, spring. Ooh, come with new screws. That was nice of them. So there you go, the all balls master cylinder rebuild kit came with new screws. Most of these seals become very apparent. E-clip or C-clip spring. Okay, so no new plunger. That's probably fine. Still got a bit of yuck down in there. All right, need a couple of wrenches to take the lever off. Probably a 10 millimeter, which is missing. Not missing, just over here. Number 10 there, not a number 10. Surely that's not a nine. Nope, it's apparently just a loose 10. Fancy. If you're really clever, you'll have a vice. Uh, I don't have a vice. That's also not real tight. A little nylock. Shall be there. that boot. All right, I got a new one of those. That's good. It means nothing. Doesn't matter what happens with this one. Good thing comes probably tearing it up. There's the circlet down in there. Well, that helps a bunch. Ha! There you go. If you need more clearance, rotate the circlip with a little screwdriver until it reaches that slot. But don't lose it. That's just pressed on there, so no big deal there. All right, old stuff's going over there. See which seal is which. Small hole on the end. Check for wear. Seems okay. Looks like it's got a little yuck down in there. I'll get that out here in a minute. To be gentle, I'm not sure what material this is, but it's probably like pot metal or something.
Okay. Time to put the new O-rings in. Back one. Front one. Plunger goes in this direction. Like this. Which means you want the flared, the wide half facing that way. So, since that, you can see the wear mark from the handlebars, or the handle. Gonna need that in a minute. In fact, I'm gonna use a little bit right now. Yucky part. It's nice of them to give me a little part tray for splashing a little lube schmoo in there. Okay, seals facing the right direction. Spring and sprung and attached to the front. Lube liberally with fresh schmoo. Put the boot on too. Oh no, can't put the boot on yet. Gotta put the circlet in first. Moves freely. New circlet? Yeah, I'll put the new circlet in. Kind of silly not to. So if you have any like weird stiffness in your brake lever, or it feels like you kind of have to eh, 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 pass the spot. Quick rebuild on your caliper and master can smooth that right up, and usually parts are very reasonable. In. There we go. Let's see, I might have the right... If you have the right socket to push that in with, it makes life a lot easier. Yeah, like that. Push that into a little snap. Snapped in place. Moves freely. Congratulations. You just rebuilt your master cylinder. Almost. Got to put the dust boot on. There we go. Put my brake lever back on. Got click click, that's the switch for the lights. Oopsie. Gracious me. Well, I'm going to have to go in and help Mother here in just a second. You don't cram that super tight because you're going to be able to move the handle. Just don't want to have a lot of slop in it. That seems about the same. Okay. 
Let's see. And then. Yes, I know there's no fluid in it. Brake bleeding is a separate thing. I'm going to use the old screws because they're still chrome and pretty. Start by hand. I'll leave them pretty loose. There you go. Rebuild a master cylinder. Find your locating dot. That's where the up is. Obviously, we're going to get this all slopped around to start with. But once we get a little bit of tension here, we'll line that up nice. I'll go find the real torque spec on that. But you can look it up for yourself. It's not a lot because that's just aluminum. Like, I'm probably going to snug it up with my wrench. I'm not even going to use the ratchet. I'm going to use the actual little key here and go for a guten tight. Yeah. And then those are still in good shape. So you put your banjo back in. Connect your brake light switch. That was the eight. And then you put all the little plastic beauty caps back on. But now we've rebuilt the front master cylinder for brakes.